So yeah guys, this deck is absolutely amazing, so much fun. I don't know why we're running the Magneto at 6 cost, but let's jump right into the deck and showcase everything for you guys. So as you can see here, 2 costs. We don't run any 1 cost first of all because we are a countering deck. We're countering whatever the opponent plays. We don't need to play anything first uh, level 1. Also, there is really nothing here that is 1 cost that we like. I looked at all these cards. There's nothing that we're really caring about that's one cost, so we really just remove the one cost completely. Instead, we're gonna opt to counter the opponent if he hobgoblins me with the Carnage, or if he tries to Widow Kiss me or whatever with the Carnage. Medusa is just the strongest card in the game, hands down, so we keep her because she's a two cost. And then that's really it. We can also play a Scorpion if you guys want to, the Scorpio right here. Uh, that's gonna be a really good option, but really we are not using that because we just don't see any value in that uh, Scorpion uh, you might see a lot of value. Actually, I think it would be insane if you can fit it Over the Medusa maybe but I just like Medusa so much next we have rogue obviously she counters a lot of these uh, ongoing decks Cosmo is amazing against um, on reveal decks you can re and also death decks guys don't forget he's really good against de de death decks so if you see somebody playing a Barnes or playing Deadpool Wolverine in one lane you know he's going to go for the Carnage next turn so you can go ahead and play Cosmos there completely shut down so Cosmo shut downs on reveals and also shut down uh, so he shuts down Odin and White Tiger decks but he also shuts down uh, the death decks as well because you won't let him eat now we had a problem in this deck we didn't we, there's a lot of cards that we need and we not drawing into them that's where crystal comes in she's insanely effective strong three cost also lets you draw one now giving the opponent like one cost is not gonna one card is not gonna matter because you can counter it no matter what also sometimes this could really help allowing him to draw his six cost which activating leech right after him drawing the six cost is absolutely insane so crystal can really help you work with crystal to a leech can really help uh, kind of guarantee you shut down that six cost and shutting that uh, six cost really can change the game completely because if the opponent doesn't have a six cost and you have a six cost you just uh, almost won the game 100 percent killmonger just shuts down a lot of big decks uh, there's huge decks that just uh, use a lot of one cost sheena kazar decks and Killmonger completely shuts them down. Also, we, you'll see this in the Thanos. We were able to just get rid of all Thanos' crystals or stones, infinity stones completely out of the game. It's a lot of fun to play Killmonger in this deck and you get a lot of value. Shang-Chi is also a really strong card. You can remove Thanos with it. Of course, if it's not protected by an infinity stone. Also, as long as the opponent's best card was a turn 5... If he plays a really strong card turn 5, Shang-Chi really counters everything. Uh, but yeah, besides that, it's really wonky playing it. It's really hard. You want the opponent to play out his strongest cards out early. And that's when Shang-Chi really shines. Uh, then Leech, of course, is really strong. Enchantress shuts down ongoing decks completely. Now more decks, Claw decks completely get shut down. I've seen a... Uh, there was a place where my opponent ran... Uh, it was hilarious. My opponent ran uh, Punisher, uh, Captain America, and then the Elon, Mr. Fantastic. And I was able to just shut him down completely with the Enchantress. And he immediately retreated because he lost so much of his power. So Enchantress completely shuts down ongoing decks. Uh, then uh, the last bit of cards here are really just strong options. Since we're only playing one card per turn and it's really not a lot of power, we wanted to push a lot of power and the best cards, the strongest card really in the games, to be our supporting final cards. So we'll have the Iron Man to push out that final power we need in one lane. Claw, if we want to win two lanes in a row uh, at the same time, that's where Claw shows up. So if we want to win one lane, Forcefully, that's Iron Man. If we want to win two lanes, that's Claw. And also, if we want to kind of disrupt the opponent, manipulate him, and uh, force him to lose lanes, that's where Magneto shines. Also, Magneto is insane. Six for 12 is one of the biggest six costs in the game. And uh, that's really the reason we have him. Guys, I'm interested in your opinions. What do you think about this deck? Would you ever trust it out? Go ahead, check out the gameplay I have. <laughs> You're going to have a lot of fun with it and uh yeah besides that guys i really hope you guys enjoy this deck and you'll see me playing this deck a lot more you expect more content from this all right guys we have the killmonger in hand let's see what happens here we drew a thanos so we know he has the thanos in hand so if we drew the leech that would be really good no actually it doesn't do anything honestly this is going to be a bad game for us i don't think we can counter thanos in anything 
Now we can counter his uh, gems with the Cosmo. And potentially kill some cards with Killmonger. Yeah, so... Unlucky with the two costs today. I don't know what kind of F-15 is driving around above my head right now. Honestly, I'm just going to go for the Killmonger here. Yeah, I'm just going to go for the Killmonger. Killed everything. I'll go Cosmo here. Because I don't need to draw. I don't need to give him draws. So Thanos has plus 10 power, but I don't know where he's going to go, so it's going to be a little bit scary. I don't know where he could go. The best thing to do is for him to play Thanos right now. Thank God. All right, there we are. Well, I don't think I can destroy Thanos. Can I destroy it? Thanos can be discarded or destroyed. So I can't destroy Thanos. But I think I could still win the game. Let's try it. We are the future. Nice. I think we win. Oh my god. We are the wow. We Wow. <laughs> Yo, we actually beat Thanos? Yo, that's crazy. No, no, no. We also could have beat him with an Enchantress to shut down these Power Stones. Oh, man. We actually beat Thanos with this deck. That's insane. That's impressive, guys. Wow. Wow. Alright guys, this hand is looking much better with the Medusa in hand. Add a random 10 cost. Hopefully something good. Sasquatch. What is this? Well, I mean, it's not the worst card in the world. Plus, now we can activate the Shang-Chi almost guaranteed. So let's go for the Medusa in the center. This Carnage is just there if he wants to kind of hobgoblin me or whatever. Goblin me. Did go down in cost. First to play it, exactly two cards, draws a card. I think it would be nice here to be playing crystal, draw two more cards. So we'll play the crystal here, draw a card, and draw two more. Oh no, he already drew the cards. Okay. So he just drew three cards, but that's fine because he can't... Uh... We do have Killmonger here to kill these two. Leech will be amazing over here right now. This perfect turn for Leech. Enchantress is not going to be really doing a lot. Enchantress is only good against like uh, Namor decks. Let's go ahead and snap here. That Leech is going to give us a lot of power. That Leech completely counters him. So if you guys don't know what Leech does, one of you remove the text from six cost cards in your opponent's hands. It's they've reworked the card and it's really strong right now. Okay, so he just filled up his whole board here. And I can't kill any of his units. But that's fine because his this is really weak. I'm gonna play Sasquatch over here. 
that auto wins lane. What do you mean location is full? What the hell? So if the if the location is full, what happens? Why can't you just throw it somewhere else? What? If the location is full, why can't you just throw it somewhere else? What the hell? That makes no sense. And now Claude wins the game. This is amazing. This is exactly how the game is supposed to be played. Now he didn't really give us any problems in this game, uh, but that's you see now the power of Claw. You see the power of Claw on Leech. He literally can't do anything. The Odin is not going to activate this. We win every lane. Yeah, Odin can't even activate it. Unless he just drew into the Odin. Victory. He literally just drew into the Odin. Because for some reason, Leech didn't activate. So that means he just drew into the Odin. So we could have been unlucky, but thankfully we won that game. But uh, we could have easily been unlucky. Holy moly, that was really easy. Alright guys, hopefully we can showcase Cosmos here today. Killmonger's in the hand. Woo! That's huge. Just need a Medusa. This just in. Okay, Kazar, so Killmonger is going to be really good here. We couldn't draw a Medusa because we already drew too many cards. Wow. Alright, well... Let's see. So, Killmonger is not going to be able to kill anything over here. But Cosmo should be able to shut down people. Oh, I don't know what that was. An F-15, an F-51. Yeah, you see there was the Medusa right there. I knew we were drawing into her. So that sucks that we didn't draw into her. Now we're going to kill these two with the Killmonger later. Actually, do I want to kill Monger now? I'll wait. He could he could squirrel, play the squirrel out, potentially. After each turn, give three of your one cost plus one. So Marvel Bow. So basically, his whole deck is a one cost deck. So with the Kazar, it's gonna be even better. So let's slow down. I don't want to do too much crazy. All right, look, look, look. I know it looks weird, but I think we're going to win this game. It looks weird as hell, though. I know what you mean, guys. Yeah, see, that's the only problem is he's protected his uh, guys. But I'm guessing... Oh, man, he gave both of them here one cost. Okay, so we're losing this lane. But we win this and this. So Killmonger here. Oh no, we can't do that. Killmonger here. Killmonger here wins me the whole game. That's Watch this, guys. It's going to be insane. We're about to counter his whole deck. Maybe a blue Marvel comes out. No, Gwenpool. So we can't we lose this lane, but we win every other lane, right? Yes. Impressive. Yeah, our whole deck literally just counters other decks. <laughs> it's so impressive. <laughs> We're winning just by countering. It's so fun. guys let's see how this goes uh, we didn't draw anything strong here for the early game hopefully we get into a medusa <laughs> that's crazy um i drew a rock wow that's insane 
Well, there's the Maximus activating some uh, draw power for us. Why did we shuffle four cards into our deck, man? That's horrible. After turn four, destroy all cards controlled by the player losing here. I'm probably going to lose this lane, so I'm just going to take over the right side really quickly. Let me see. I need to draw one card. Plus, this is the only card we can actually play it right now, Crystal. We, draw, we drew really badly. Let's see if we can counter anything. Not yet. He didn't play anything on our side, so Carnage is not useful. Leech is going to be good here to kind of get rid of his six cost. Let's uh, snap as well. Dr. Octopus. Oh man, not all my rocks. Ugh. Lowest cost. So they buffed Dr. Octopus. He's much stronger now than he used to be. Okay, Cosmos is active. I think we just go ahead and claw here. Can also claw right here. Let's claw right here. This is we lost this lane already. That octopus is huge. The only thing that can win us this lane is a a, a Shang Chi. I don't see him dying or anything. Okay, so he did pop the hobgoblin. There's nothing I can really do to win this game. This is really bad looking. I could I could lose here. I think he's gonna take over this lane. Man, this sucks. I'm gonna have to I'm just gonna retreat to be honest. I lost this lane. I lost this game. I just couldn't counter him in any way. 